Welcome to this demonstration of automatic mitigation of congestion with Fabric Performance Impact Notification. In case you're not already familiar with FPIN, we recommend you to watch the primer. Otherwise, let's jump straight into the demonstration. We have an environment with two hosts talking to the same storage. You can see here there's a host called 131 and one called 133. The challenge we have is that one of the hosts is basically creating congestion in the network. We can see here on our network port traffic conditions dashboard that there is congestion happening and that there is an oversubscribed port. When we go to the events page on the violations tab, we can investigate the flow that's responsible for the congestion. And we can see here that IO latency is very high and first read response times are very high, basically in the range of hundreds of milliseconds. And there are lots of pending IOs. So really here we have a classic example of an oversubscribed host that is doing large reads, maybe a database table scan and the storage is much higher performing than the host, resulting in a performance mismatch. And you can see here, SendNav has identified that the port is overutilized in addition to the IO latency. A way to automatically mitigate this is using Emulex Send Manager in conjunction with Fabric Performance Impact Notification. Here we log into Emulex Send Manager, which provides centralized in band visibility into HPAs in the SAN enabling you to monitor, manage, and set policies for how the HPA should act when receiving FPINs. There's a concept of managed and unmanaged HPAs. Unmanaged HPAs only provide info, and managed HPAs can be configured from ESM. In this demonstration, our hosts have managed Gen 7 HPAs, and we will set congestion policy for the oversubscribed host in a minute. The Emulex Sand Manager is a great tool to improve sand management and productivity with a single pane of glass for inventory configuration and validation of HPA firmware, drivers, multipath and optics, and more. For more information on ESM, please contact your Broadcom representative or search for ESM on Broadcom.com. For this demo, we will focus on the congestion management tab. We can see here that both our hosts 131 and 133 are in monitor mode. That means that currently the adapters will monitor for FPINs but not take any action when receiving notification. Now let's first look at the host 133. We can see that there are registered both fabric detected congestion notifications and there are also HPA detected congestion notifications at respectively high and medium levels. Displaying details of bandwidth utilization and response time, we see that it's basically constantly running at full line rate, but we also see the response time is extremely high. So again, this support what we saw in SandNav, that this host is oversubscribed and congested. Let's now take a look at the other host, 131, which share the same storage and path through the SAN. We can see here that it's not congested, and let's display the bandwidth consumption and response time. Here we can see that the bandwidth consumption is not very high, but the response time is very high, which is an indication that this host application performance is impacted by the oversubscribed host 131, which is causing congestion. Now let's change the policy for host 133 from congestion monitoring to moderate congestion mitigation. Basically, this policy says that the HPA should take moderate corrective action to mitigate impact from issues when receiving congestion notifications from the Fabric, aka Fabric Performance Impact Notifications. The setting kicks in straight away, though it takes a few minutes before the metrics are displayed in respectively SANNAV and ESM. So after a few minutes, we go back into SANNAV 
and we can see that the congestion level has changed to mild and the oversubscription has been cleared from the port where host 133 is connected. Let's go and investigate the flow again. We notice that mitigation has kicked in. The IO latency is down and the read first response time as well. Pending IOs have dropped. In line with the NPTC dashboard displaying the oversubscription has cleared. Now let's take a look from an ESM perspective. As we display the congestion for host 133, the first thing we notice is that the fabric congestion notifications were first cleared and then reappeared and cleared again. This pyramid graph happens because the ESM policy for moderate congestion mitigation means that the HBA only throttle a little bit for a few minutes and then removes the throttle to determine in an adaptive way if the workload still exposes oversubscription. When notified again that that is the case, it will throttle again and we get this uh, pyramid shaped graph. As we take a look at the bandwidth usage and response time, we notice that host 133 only is throttled back a little bit from a bandwidth perspective, but that it actually has a very positive impact on response time clearly showing that the application runs better when the capability of the host is not oversubscribed. When we take a look at host 131, we also see a very positive improvement. The latency has dropped to half, while the bandwidth usage has doubled. This clearly shows how severely impacted host 131 was by the oversubscription of host 133. Going back into SANNAV, looking at the NPTC dashboard and the oversubscribed ports, we can see that oversubscription also here is uh, registered as reoccurring. But because the reaction to F pins happen within one to two minutes from detection to mitigation is in effect, there's practically minimal impact from the adaptive mode with the moderate F pin mitigation policy applied. It is worth mentioning that the mitigation avoids adverse impact but doesn't solve the root cause of the problem, which is that host 133 is oversubscribed. This can be because of different bottlenecks. Commonly, these are not enough CPU or memory resources on the host, speed mismatch between host and storage, or simply IO capability mismatch between the host and storage. In our example, we can see going back into ESM later the same day that the same mitigation pattern consists avoiding adverse impact of the oversubscribed host, giving us the time to plan and perform the necessary improvements to host 133 in a regular maintenance window so it no longer expose oversubscription and congestion in the SAN. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to broadcom.com. Thank you.